it's time for... So today, we're not going to discuss a Bramble Eater for once. We're going to discuss a Privet Eater and an absolute beauty of an insect. And of course, I'm talking about Necroscia and Nullipes. And welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Now the N and Nullipes are an amazing species I can't wait to show you. But I do apologise in advance if the filming of this goes horribly wrong. Why? Because they are excellent. Absolutely excellent flyers in both males and female specimens. Now, being privet eaters, these weren't a part of the animals that happened to die off, explained in my I'll Be Back video. However, they are a culture that I am passing on because I only have a certain amount left in the collection and I would like them to go to a good friend of mine, which will allow me space to keep some newer and rarer species. The N. anulopes was a common species that I hadn't personally raised for my first few years of phasmid keeping and I just needed to try some more of the common but beautiful species. Now you might be surprised that I say common but that's within my stick insect hobby. If you're not a big collector of phasmids maybe you've never even seen these before. Who knows but you will enjoy it because they are stunning. So let's get on with the video. Are you ready? Here is the N and the lapis. Quite hard to distinguish across the moss there. Let's try and get her up on the bark so we can have a better look. There we go guys, how amazing are these? Look at all those beautiful colours, they're big mixtures of greens, reds, yellows and even blues coming all the way down. Now. These are actually fully developed wings, and you won't believe what colour their wings are, guys. Vibrant pink. Something hopefully I'll be able to show you later in the video. Now this beauty is a female. I do believe I still have a male that I can show you. Uh, their PSG number, or Phasma Study Group number, is 290. I'm unaware if they have a CLP number at present. Now the main food plant for these guys in the hobby is privet. But in summertime, you can also feed them lilac. And I've heard stories of them eating leaves from olive plants and jasmine plants too. Even cinnamonum, which is the leaves of the cinnamon plant, if I got that correct. Pretty cool, right? But standard privet diet, you can't go wrong with these beauties. Now these are a Malaysian species. I believe first cultures were taken from Tapa Hills. And they've got some really interesting characteristics and some really cool things to talk about here. But let me see if I can find the male so we can do a female to male comparison. So here we have female to male comparison. You see they are very similar, but the males are smaller and more slender. They still have those beautiful colorations, but at a smaller scale and the legs are truly beautiful. Now they don't actually live that long, the males, and I do believe that this one is very, very old by his movements. And uh, unfortunately, might actually be on his way out. So instead, I'm going to pop him back where he's more comfortable for a moment. Now this one on the side is a nymph, or sub-adult. And you can see the difference. It doesn't have the wings, but it does have the bluish legs, bluish antenna, and yellow forelegs. Not as much to look at, but still pretty all the same, right? So this female is roughly eight and a half to nine centimeters long, whereas the male you saw previously was more like six and a half to seven centimeters long. Now these do have a form of fluid that can be dispersed that I know very little information about. It can be a little bit smelly apparently, although mine have never dispersed it on me, so I could not give you that information. As far as I'm aware, it's not an irritant and will not cause any problems. But always best to wash your hands after dealing with this species, just in case. 
Now the collection of these was quite interesting. I do believe in 2006 was when we had the first culture. Then 2007 there was a new collection for a new culture. And in 2008 again we had a new culture. And that's when it was dispersed into the hobby. So a majority of the hobby, at least the UK hobby, had them dispersed in 2008. Now the cool thing about these guys is how they lay their eggs. You can't really tell from the abdomen there, but they basically hammer them in. So they can prod them into soft substrate, but if you get those flower blocks, you know, that you can grow plants from, almost spongy effect, they will happily lay eggs into those. And the eggs are elongated with a spike at the end, allowing them to protrude the egg into whatever surface they like, whether it's leaves, soil, bark even, it's incredible to witness. Unfortunately, I have no footage of this hammering effect. But who'd have thought something like this, at this size, had the power to break into softer parts of bark just to lay there over. Now, like the Peleng, I would put these as uh, an early stage intermediate level purely for humidity reasons. They like a 70 to 80% humidity. Being from Malaysia, that is what they're used to. And especially nymphs will die off if they cannot keep that humidity level. Now, there isn't much more that I can tell you about the N and Ullipes, except to be able to show you those beautiful pink wings. Let me see if she'll allow me. Oh. There's a better way of doing this. Bear with me a second. See if I can get her to take off by pushing her upwards. Normally when they reach the edge of your hands and you push them, they will fly. She is not playing ball. Oh, you saw a bit of the pink flash there. Try and do it in the light, Sam. There you go. Look at that. Now she's only flapping there, she's not taking off, but they are excellent flyers. Oh, I've got my hand at the wrong angle to be able to do that again. Come on, girl. Show the camera just once more. There. Beautiful, right? Was that not totally elegant? Vibrant pink wings on a stick insect that's green, yellow, red and blue. Can you ask for more than that in a species in your collection? Oh God, I love these. And I hope their new owner loves them just as much. So I am going to pop her back in to her enclosure. Oh, she's waking up a bit now, see? So if you've got flying species, you can gently press on the top so that they can't take off but make sure you do that gently so that they can wriggle out if need be and then you can pop them in without them flying away but if she wants to fly she can i don't mind all right bye bye gal it's the last we're going to see of you on this channel enjoy your new home so guys, unfortunately, on further observation, it seems that male is literally on death's door. He is reaching his lifespan age now, but the fortunate thing is, although I'm passing these on, those females are going to remain fertile for the rest of their lives. Meaning the new owner, although having no males by the time they're sent out, will be able to have plenty and plenty of offspring. Oh, I'm going to miss these guys. I told you folks at home before, I had plenty of species you may or may not have seen and I don't think I have featured the N Anulipes on this channel before. So, that's going to be it probably for some of the stick insect videos for a little while. I do have three or four other species that I either haven't featured on the channel or have only shown off at their younger stage. So look forward to some awesome future ones. Um, I'm also going to start looking in restocking some species, but it may take a while for them to hatch and get past the nymph stage for them to be worth looking at on camera. So a lot of species, sadly, don't bring out colorations until later years. So yes, that's going to be it for Phasmid Files for just a little while, unless, of course, something awesome happens and I show you another species. So I'm feeling a lot more positive now, guys. Thanks for bearing with me, especially with my I'll Be Back video where I was feeling very, very down about the situation. And although I'm very, very sad to be seeing 
some of these go, especially the last three species I have shown you guys, along with some others that I've actually featured before on the channel, so I'm not doing it again, that are going away to friends. Yes, so as I was saying, sorry, <laughs> lost my trail of thought. Although I am sad that they're going, I know they're going to a good place. And as I said before, it opens up tanks to some really awesome new species. So if you want to see what else dwells in the realm here, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos. I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.